comforter, the spirit of truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O oh Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are lifted up on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God. Bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, O Lord, may they have you, peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto ages of ages on me. O awesome and unashamable protection, O oh, good and praiseworthy Theopos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of our beloved. Save those you whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven. For you gave word to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us. Pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Archbishop and Father Nicolas. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For your merciful God, who loves mankind. And to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son.
Salvation is of the people, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and I slept and I hope for the Lord will help me. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chastise me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me and your hands rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins, for my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden they are heavy on me. My wounds grow, grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my desires before you and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near and kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak foul, and they meditate on deceit all day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope I will hear. O Lord my God, for I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they have boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are be and are become stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. <clears throat> those who repay me evil for good slap slander me, because I pursue righteousness, and they threw away my love as though it were a singing corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not depart from me. Give heed to me, O Lord, of my salvation. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to your, all your transgressions, who heals your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire for good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgments to all who are wrong. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven above the earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for men who take our life grass, as a flower that heals so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain. And it shall no longer, it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him. And his righteousness upon children's children. To such as keep his covenant and remember his commandment to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord of his angels, mighty and strength to do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord of his hosts, his ministers to do his will. Bless the Lord of his works, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication and your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like the water of this land. 
Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down to the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make you known, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I plead for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. The good spirit shall guide me in that land of great uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life in your righteousness. You shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Let us commit ourselves unto one 
Let us commit ourselves unto one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Would you honor? For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom. O the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Once again into 
For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out of my transgression. Watch me thoroughly for my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I shall be made white with snow. You shall make me your joy and gladness. My bones are where afflicted shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and put up all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart of God and in the right spirit within me. Do not cast away, well, cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall jointly greatly rejoice in your righteousness. For you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. If you had desired sacrifice, I would have offered it, but you will not be pleased with all burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to see all men, let the walls of Jerusalem be filled. Then will you be pleased with sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young cattle upon your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Martyrs, the glorious great martyr and all of Euphemia, 
the holy and glorious martyrs Tekla, Barbara, Anastasia, Kathy, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskivi, and Diary. Of our holy God, the eight fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Jai, Fatana, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us in us to pray to you, and have mercy on us.
Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things. The treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O Lord. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O Lord. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and filling all things, Treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O Lord. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth for men to enjoy the same. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth for men to enjoy his favor. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will speak out your praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now Let us pray to the Lord. 
Dios de los Simón que se indoxan a Pencome, tu patrí que tu yu que tu adiú nef mati, ni que hay Cristus de Onas con el for 
what I'm going to tell you today. Nevertheless, what I'm going to speak, I believe to be true. And I firmly believe that this is what God revealed to us. And this is the truth that we need to know. If I'm going to offend only anyone, please forgive me. It is not my intention to, have to offend anyone. It is my most honest and sincere desire to enlighten, to bring the light of God in the world. After being baptized in the Jordan River, after descending in the primordial element of creation in water and becoming one with everything that was created through him in the beginning, our Lord Jesus Christ was taken by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. For 40 days and nights, he didn't eat or drink anything because he wanted to offer his human body and his human nature to God and to really make his human body and his human nature one with God. At the end of the 40 days of fasting, he was hungry. And that's when the tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, command to these stones to become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The first temptation of the devil 
towards our Lord Jesus Christ was the temptation of power. Abuse the power given to you by God to transform the world around you in what you want and to use it for your pleasures and desires. This was the first temptation of the devil. The Lord rebuked this temptation of power. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give you his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. The second temptation was the temptation of prestige. Make a show, become famous, because God will take care of you. The Lord didn't fall in the second temptation of prestige. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I'll give you if you'll fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. The third temptation was the temptation of possessions. Worship me, and if you worship me, I'm going to give you all the kingdoms of the world, all the possessions. The Lord, once again, did not fall into this third temptation. Then the devil left him. And behold, angels came and ministered to the Lord. After this, we have the passage. This was, by the way, yesterday's gospel reading. After this, we had today's gospel reading where we saw our Lord Jesus Christ going to Capernaum in the land of the Gentiles and starting his preaching by saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Change your mind. Change your ways, because the kingdom of heaven is accessible to you now. Because finally, in one human being, God is dwelling fully and completely. In one, one human being, finally, offered his will, his body, his nature fully and completely to God. And this is why the kingdom of heaven is at hand for each and every one of you. This is what our Lord Jesus Christ came to give to us. He came to teach each and every child of God how we are called to be baptized, to die to ourselves and to our selfish desires and to become one with the creation of God, with God, and then to offer every day of our life our will, our being, our everything to God. And not to be tempted by powers, possessions, and prestige but to have a change of mind and to allow God to come within us and to do His will every minute of our life and thus to have His kingdom transposed within us and in this world. Unfortunately, even Christians, most Christians are not even thinking about, about doing this. Most Christians 
believe in God because they want God to do for themselves what they want. Unfortunately, humanity is at a crossroad and once again, we are asked, what do you want to do? Do you want to do your will or do you want to do the will of God? Do you want to impose your will on everything and everyone in order to have power, possessions, and prestige? Or do you trust God and His grace that He's working out everything through any tragedy? So far, three industrial revolutions started in the Christian world and then they spread all over the world. A fourth industrial revolution has already started. A fourth industrial revolution in which human beings and computers are going to interfere. We already made a mess with the previous three industrial revolutions trying to impose our will on everything and everyone, we made a mess. And then we thought, we're going to clean up the mess and make it better. And we made a bigger mess. And the bigger one and the bigger one. We are on the verge of making an even bigger mess. So far, our intervention was mostly on the creation of God. So far, we twisted and twinkled and modified everything around us to serve our will, and we're trying to transform, if possible, even stones into bread to eat, and then to throw away about 50% of that food produced by this land. Now, we are trying to take everything, not us, but those who are believing of themselves to be gods and they know what is, good, what, what is best for humanity. You are trying to take everything to the next level and to twinkle us and our bodies. Once again, we have the option to say yes, to power, possessions, and prestige, and to our desire to be God without God? Or we could say, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This doesn't belong to me. The cells in my body belong to God. They don't belong to me. My DNA belongs to God. It doesn't belong to me. My RNA belongs to God, it doesn't belong to me. And if I am to live and suffer, God will take care of my suffering. If I am to die, God will take care of me. But I'm not going to twinkle and change what was created by God. Everything belongs to God. And we have to learn as children of God, if we want to be like the Son of God, if we want not to make His incarnation and revelation in vain, we have to learn, at least in this final stage, to say, Your will be done on earth, within me, within my world, as it is in heaven. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever.
Now and for. 
our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts we present thee, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who have prayed with faith, reverence and godly fear, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant peace, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful a guard in our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant peace for Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant peace for Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Pater, ato kramra, pinin uranun kiki. 
Ιησού ορατών επάντων και αοράτων, και εις ένα Κύριον Ιησού Χριστόν, τον Υιόν του Θεού τον Μονογενή, τον έκ του Πατρός και νηθέντα προπάντων των αιώνων, φως εκ ποτός, Θεών αληθινών εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα ου πηθέντα, ομοούσιον στο Πατρί, διού τα πάντα εγένετε, το δει ημάς τους ανθρώπους, και διά την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθόντα εκ των ουρανών, και σαρκωθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Παρθένου και ενανθρωπίσαντα, σταυροθέντα και υπέρ ημών επί ποντίου πυλάβου, και παπώντα και τα πέντα, και αναστάντα την τρίτη ημέρα κατά της γραφάς, και ανερθόντα εις τους ουρανούς, και καθεζόμενον εκ δεξιών του Πατρός, και πάλι ερχόμενο με τα δόξης κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς ου της βασιλείας ου έστε τέλος. Και εις το Πνεύμα το Άγιο, το Κύριο, το Ζωοποιόν, το έκου Πατρός εκπορευόμενο, το Συν Πατρί και Υιό συμπροσκυνούμενο και συμποξαζόμενο, το λαλίσαν διά των προφητών, εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολική, και Αποστολική Εκκλησία, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφησιν αμαρτιών, προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe you are God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the garden of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, the God and not created of one essence with the Father, to whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son, is worshipped and glorified who spoke to the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. <laughs> let us thank God, let us thank Him, all let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in Nothing, 
And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and grant us your kingdom to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things that we know and do not know. For blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels. By the children of Seraphim, six wings, many eyes, soaring with their wings, singing the victory, proclaiming, crying out, and saying,
to use this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, I ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presently, and make this bread the precious body of your cross. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may to those who are of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and nothing judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the and they were Virgin Mary.
that make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare to you, the heavenly God, Father, and to save.
Let's pray together. I believe, O oh Lord, and I confess that you are through the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and deed, of knowledge and ignorance. And make me worthy to partake with all condemnation of your holy communion for the remission of my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant. For I will not speak of your mystery to your enemies, neither will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like a thief I will confess you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Amen. Forgive me. Forgive me.
give rest to them in the bosom of Abraham, and number them among the righteous. Amen. May your memory be eternal, dear brothers and sisters, for you are worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory.
is among us. Glory to God, glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for bringing us together today to become the body of Christ and to worship God on this Sunday after the Theophany, after the baptism of the Lord in the Jordan River. Glory to God for all things, and may the Lord give us the strength, the faith, hope, and love to worship only Him and to allow His kingdom to come within us. Talking about His kingdom coming within us, those of you who want to have your houses blessed this year, please let me know and I will call you and we'll make arrangements to come and to bless your, your house. Also, we need greeters for the services during the week. As I told you from the beginning, I don't want, I should say we need ushers for the services during the week. I don't want this duty to fall only on the parish council members because they are doing this duty on Sundays, the duty of ushers. But for the services during the week, like this coming Saturday, we are going to celebrate the Holy Liturgy. Also, you know, to give the chance to more people to come to church in a person. So we need ushers for the services during the week. If you'd like to do this for the church, please let me know, and one of, one of the parish council members will serve with will serve with you and will instruct you what you have to do as an usher. And now, uh, a few announcements for this coming week. On Wednesday evening at 6 p.m., we will continue our discussion about the healing of the man born blind in the Gospel of John, in the ninth chapter of the Gospel of John, during our Bible study, which will start at 6 p.m. via, via, live, uh, via Zoom, at 6 p.m. On, on Wednesday evening. Next Sunday, excuse me, on Saturday, as I said, at 10 a.m., we'll get together for Holy Liturgy in person. No sign-up is required for the Holy Liturgy on Saturday. And next Sunday, God willing, we'll get together again at 8.45 a.m. for Matins and at 10 a.m. for Holy Liturgy. And next Sunday, at 1 p.m., our Sunday school students will get together online with their uh, with the Sunday school teachers for Sunday school. Same thing today at 1 p.m. Sunday school will start again today at 1 p.m. online. Christ is among us. God bless you, God faithful. And uh, before I invite you to come for the veneration of the cross, and uh, if you want to receive holy water, please let me know and I will give you a bottle of as many bottles as you want of holy water. And uh, before I invite you for the veneration of the cross and to bless you with holy water, to give you holy water, I want to tell you one more time that everything that I told you today, I told you because I love you and I care about your salvation. I came here to, and I was, you were entrusted to me to help you get closer and closer to God and to bring you into his kingdom. So everything that I told you, I told you because I love you and because I care about your salvation. And I also want to tell you that I, I will love you no matter what. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please come now for the veneration of the cross and for, be, for being blessed with holy water. And as I said, if you want to receive holy water, let me know. And uh, Eva, if you want to give the holy water in the narthex of the church, those of you who want to receive holy water today, we have a memorial service for Harry for one year and for all the deceased members of his family. So if you want to receive a cup of Toliva of boiled wheat, please do so. <laughs> 